Hey there, Wildcats. Welcome back to another day of PE. We are excited to be here with you. And um, today you're going to need three cups. If you know those like red solo cups, if you have some of those, those plastic ones that are disposable, those work great for this activity. If you don't have those, any kind of plastic cup you have in the house, I wouldn't get like mugs or glass kind of things because your parents might be upset with you when they break because they probably will break. So I wouldn't get that, but uh, three cups that you can stack, okay? That would be great. If you don't have any kind of cups that you can stack, you could get some other things. Um, you could get some stuffed animals. You could get some shoes. You could get something that you can build a pyramid with. So some of those things might be kind of hard, but get those cups, get up right now. Stop staring at me. Get up right now. Go get your cups, all right? Tissue boxes would work, Mr. Estes. Tissue boxes, I love it. What else can we get? Shoe boxes or... Shoe boxes. All I've right. seen lots of shoe boxes on some of our calls. Some of them have them in their room. So. That's true. There you shoe box would be pretty big. You might have to work hard to do the shoe box, but okay. it might work. I think they could do it. I think they okay, could do better it. better than nothing. All right, great job. Most of you have that. You're ready to go. So let's jump into our warm-up. All right, pretty typical, uh, different person here, but um, lots of things that you're familiar with, some new things that we're gonna be doing. Um, so follow along as we do this warm up. Here we go. Nice job, Wildcats. You are all warmed up. That blood is flowing and it's pumping. Ooh, yeah. And we are going to jump into our group game. All right, we love these kinds of games. This one's called Scavenger Hunt. You're really going to like this. What's going to happen is um, a couple, a few images are going to come up on the screen and you have 30 seconds to go and find these, these items in your house and touch those and they get back to your spot. So it's gonna tell you that your spot, that's where you're like, you're starting from, okay, where we can see you. And you have 30 seconds to go touch those different items in your house and then get back to that spot. And you get a point for each item you're able to touch within those 30 seconds and get back to your spot. Okay, lots of different items we're gonna run through. It's gonna be fun. Here we go. It's Coach Russell's assistant hotshot. Welcome to Indoor Scavenger Hunt. Let's get started, directions. Where you are standing is your spot. 
Earn 1 to 3 points for touching 1 to 3 of the choices and getting back to your spot in time. Each item is worth 1 point each. You have 30 seconds to touch the 1 to 3 items and get back to your spot. Be safe and walk. You don't score any points for getting back after the timer. Sometimes you may not have anything to touch, it's all luck of the draw. Only power walking is allowed. Or parents might get mad. Now it's time to start. What do you call a pig that does karate? Pork chop What kind of shorts do clouds wear? Thunderwear How do you put a baby alien to sleep? You rock it. Why did the banana go to the doctor? It wasn't peeling well. What do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? Frostbite
What do you call an owl that does magic tricks? Houdini <laughs> All right, that was awesome Wildcats. It was fun to see you running all over the house and you were frantic and um, it just looked like you were really enjoying that. Your parents think you're a crazy person by now. Um, and that's a good that's thing. And that's a good thing. That's probably not very new. Okay. They probably already knew that. Um, but that's, that's okay. Cause we're all, but it was fun to see them up and moving and running around their house. So that was cool. Yep. yep. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm going to now turn on over to Mrs. Ponciano. All right. Wildcats. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Estes. Wildcats. I'm so glad you are here. Um, we're going to start off here with realizing and understanding how important PE is in your life. Um, how does health-related and skill-related fitness help you? And they really do help you. And some of you think we're just kind of running through the motions of doing these things. We all the time are encouraging you to do a physical activity every single day for a reason. We're trying to get you to do 60 minutes a day even. And we uh, really work on the things like muscle strength and endurance, flexibility, cardio, reaction time, speed, balance, coordination, agility, and power. And all those little subtitles and subsets of activity really lead us into, here's why this is so important. We're gonna watch something now again. Please pay attention to this. This is kind of funny. It's humorous. Um, anytime we get things that are laugh, you know, we laugh at or are funny to watch, the reason they're so funny is because there's a lot of truth to it. So there's a lot of truth in this, which makes it even funnier. So take a watch and look at this, please. All right, so hopefully you saw how that was some humor in that, but also some reality. And the reality of that is that physical education, PE is required in, required in all schools. And the reality is it's important for both your brain and muscle development. And remember, PE skills last a lifetime. We really do as PE teachers think our PE classes are the most important in your life. Besides the fact that you can live longer if you're healthy, it also applies to every single thing you do from moving and your basic day-to-day -day actions, your sports, whatever it is you do, PE is really, really valuable. And we, uh, as PE teachers, value it. And we um, love when you actually get out there and really are active. So I'm gonna hand it off now to Mrs. Oliver. Hello, hello, Wildcats. Great to see you today. Happy March. Yay, raw. It's getting warmer, I'm glad. A little bit more heat, I wanna, I do would love to go travel. I, this is Iceland in the background. I love it, the waterfall. So like Mrs. Ponciano said, today we're kind of talking about lifetime fitness and about how certain skills we do in PE actually relate to our, the, the things that we do here in PE. You'll see uh, pretty soon, you saw in the video, some of the things that we failed at as adults. And I know you've seen your parents do some of those. Some of you might have had some misfortune with some of that too, but we're going to go through some, for three minutes, some activities you guys are going to pick. We're hoping what you do is about 30 seconds on each one, but you'll see right now the screen is moving. You'll see the girl is doing push-ups, and that can relate to pushing a lawnmower, correct? And uh, the lat pulls relate to opening a door. Squats relate to picking up a case of water, and so on and so forth. So you'll see uh, the actual 
exercise we're doing and why perhaps it is important for your life. So here we go, get ready. Get ready. The first one you're going to do is push ups again. We're going to, we're hopefully, you'll spend about 30 seconds on each one. Awesome. Way to go, you guys. Again, fun to see that the actual exercises we do function functionally will, will help you in your life. So nice job. We're going to move on to our next activity. Now it's calling it a dance. I, I guess it's a dance. Crisscross. You're just going to kind of move your legs. Up. You're going to learn how to crisscross and push off to the side. That's it. You're not dancing around the room. You're not going crazy. You're standing essentially in the same place, just moving your feet and your upper body. So stand up, get with this activity. Again, if you don't wanna do it, you gotta do some push-ups or some jumping jacks or something physical to see that you're moving, okay? Have a good time with it. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on another tutorial. My name is Miran Karakosian. Today we're gonna work on a simple fun step called the crisscross. I'm gonna show it to you with music first and then I'll break it down. All right guys, here we go. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, let's let's work on the feet first. I just want you to get the idea of the cross, and then uh, from there I'll teach you guys the lean and the arms. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna jump together. The right leg is gonna cross in front of the left leg. Cross. Good. Jump back out. 
Good. Now this time the left leg is going to cross in front of the right leg. Jump. Back out. Here we go. Let's do that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four. Good. Pay close attention to the feet. Make sure the right leg crosses first. Back out. And then the left leg in the front. Back out. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. One. Good. Jump back out. Two. Now the left leg crossing in front of the right leg. Jump. Out. One more time. Five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Good. Let's do it again. Six, seven, eight. Go. Jump, 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 jump. Good. One more time. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now, you want to add a lean to this. So when you're jumping and the right leg crosses in front, you lean towards the right. Okay? So you're going here, here. Good. Now this is what you want to look like at the end of the at, at the end when you jump out. So cross here, lean over to the right side. Six, seven, eight, lean, lean. Good. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, lean, lean. Good. From here, left leg crosses in front of the right leg. We shift our weight and our body to the left side. We're gonna lean over to the left side now. Seven, eight, jump, jump. Good. So um, you can take your time with it slowly, first to the middle, and then to the left, OK? So you were here. You're going to go jump, jump. Good. Let's connect it together now, going to the right and to the left. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four. Good. I'm going to throw the arms in now because it kind of feels weird doing the body without the arms. Uh, first thing you can do is arm up, push, arm up. Push. Good. Let's do that again. Six, seven, eight. Go. One. Push. Two. Push. Good. One last time. Six, seven, eight. One. Push. Two. Push. Perfect. Let's put it together slow. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Right leg in front. Left arm out. Good. Make sure you're not out. You're here so you can push out on this next one. Out. Perfect. Switching the arms. Left leg crossing in front of the right leg. Right arm coming out. Here, good. Push out, two. Good. Now, every time you um, bring the one arm up, the other arm is going to be on the side. Take it kind of behind yourself so you're hiding it so it's not kind of just moving around on the side, okay? Here we go. Let's put it together. Five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's keep going. Same thing. Just repeat. Let's do a full eight count. Seven, eight, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Make sure you still pay attention to the feet. You don't want to get caught doing the same leg every time, okay? Right leg, then left leg. Here we go. Let's do it a few more times and then let's speed it up. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. One more time, a little faster now. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. Boom. Back. Hit. Hit. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's go faster. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four. Keep going. Five, six, seven, eight. And good. So you want to come to that tempo and even faster than that, okay? So let's go over the step one more time. Here we go. And then we'll do it fast and then we'll try with music. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now let's do it fast. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight stop let's try one music all right guys here we go slow five six seven eight one jump two jump three good make sure you're leaning boom lean six eight hit good here we go fast now now remember every time you cross one two three four every cross is one count here we go five Six, five, six, seven, eight, one, and 
Excellent. Woo, I know. So he, he did a little quick. We probably should have slowed that down and did a little bit more of a beginner's motion because it's it gets, but it is kind of fun to learn new things because you can even do that when you're walking down the street and kind of freak people out, right? Anyway, did a great job. Now I'm going to hand it off over to Coach Dub. Right on. Thank you, Mrs. Oliver. You know, when I was a kid, there was a band called Criss Cross and they had a song, Criss Cross will make you jump, jump. So I know sometimes the, uh, your parents can hear our Zoom calls. So if any parents out there hear this and remember crisscross, they would wear their pants backwards and all sorts of crazy things. So throwback, a uh, little throwback memory there. But anyway, yes. And very colorful, very colorful. Yes, yeah, they, they, it was truly, I think it was the 90s, but you know, it was like that, that flashy dress that's it's back in style nowadays. Uh, but uh, today we are doing a pyramid scheme and not the, uh, the fishy little like uh, pyramid schemes that you want to stay away from. But this is the activity we're going to do where you're going to use those cups and do some stacking. So uh, have those handy because we are going to take those cups. So if you have your three cups, you're, you're sitting there and you're facing your cups on your bottom with your feet on the sides of your cups. And then you're going to lift up each cup one at a time and twist it to the other side of your body and try and stack a pyramid with those cups. So we're gonna do a, a just a setup one and then a setup and take down. So you'll see an example of it and then you'll get a chance to do it yourself. This is the uh, challenge for today. So challenge means it's gonna be hard. Do the best that you can see if you can uh, stack those cups faster than the gentleman on the screen, all right? We've got, it's, a, it's another Coach L from another middle school that we're using these. So we're uh, uh, sharing, uh, information here with them and, and it's really a great exercise. So here we go, let's do the pyramid scheme. Awesome, you guys, you did good. A lot of success out there. If you did well at that, let us know in the chat. If you like that challenge as well, we'd love to hear from you guys, all right? So uh, moving on now to my favorite. Oh yeah, hockey, go Kings, go. Go Kings, go. Go Kings, go. All right, so if you're not a hockey fan like Mr. Estes, you're not allowed on the call, you can leave right now. But uh, just kidding. <laughs> Kings have been doing really well recently. I I just, uh, I wanted to ask, is, is hockey still a sport? Oh, oh stop it. Is it still a thing? Oh, oh, oh. Whatever, Mr. Estes. Smack, smack, smack. It's the truest Ooh. sport. It is poetry on ice. I like Power, hockey. I, like, I just would rather play. I would rather play than watch. That's just how I feel. Yeah, I can understand that. But it's all those things Mrs. Ponciano talked about earlier that come with fitness, uh, that agility, that power, all of those things. You need them to be able to do hockey. So. We're going to focus on some real core exercises uh, in what you're going to see. So you'll see the gentleman do them. 
and then uh, then we'll give you a chance to do them yourself. So follow along here as we lead you through some great core exercises that are specific or really to any sport, but they're applied to the sport of hockey for this one.
Great job, Wildcats. I hope your stomach is burning, your abs are they're hurting, uh, but you did a great job and we really appreciate the effort. So now we're gonna hand it on over to Mr. L. All right, thank you, Mr. Whitehead. You guys, some of you were really good at stacking. That was very creative, that was a lot of fun. All right, so we are now down to our cool down. So I'm gonna kind of breathe quietly here. So as we're cooling down, we are going to stretch out. Again, we've had a rigorous activity today, or several rigorous activities. We're gonna cool down now and stretch out. So please do the following stretching activities. All right, you guys, great job. Again, love you guys up, love you fully engaged and participating. It's just so important to make sure that you cool down at the end of any type of exercise that you're doing. So that's going to take us now into our independent study. So right now, this week, you guys should be working on the second week of your March fitness calendar. So remember, it's a fitness calendar that we're doing this month. Make sure you run a mile at least one time during the week and you write your time into the box. Yes, you write your time into the box. Now attached to this fitness calendar for March is a tutorial, so you may wanna watch that if you're having difficulty including your time. But it is something that we expect you all to do is to insert your time into uh, the correct box for your mile run. Also, you wanna make sure that you drag and drop the exercise you choose into the calendar. So we should see a picture of the activity in each of your boxes. And just as a reminder that our March fitness calendars are due on April 1st. I know it's April Fool's Day, but no joke. I was gonna say, are you kidding? Not a joke. It's due on April 1st. Hey, Mr. Lottenfogger, how, how should they run their miles? Part of that, what's that again? How can they run their miles? Are there different ways or just one way to run You know what, let's talk about a couple of those. Uh, one of them is if just go out and run the March area that you have had for the whole year. You can also run out and run at a, a park. Um, you know, I know at the local park by Burl, if you run five times around that one field, that's exactly one mile. Um, also, if you have any access to any track, um, that's a great time, usually for the most part, four times around the track is one mile. And also you can run on your treadmill. How about a Peloton? So running a treadmill is a great place to run the mile as well. So again, make sure that you're doing that. Again, you guys should be completing or working on your second week of March on your calendar. All right, without further ado, you guys, it's been a great time. Take care. Good job, you guys. Bye. Bye. See ya. Have a good day.